Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Car Loop Data and Cobra Car Insurance. Hey everyone, we're back at Solar Tent Brookvale with Nick. Hey Nick, how are you going? Good, thanks Tom, how are you? Very well, thanks. Uh, Nick, so tell us a little bit about um, Solar Tent here at Brookvale. Uh, we've been in business for, I think, about 24 years now. And uh, we worked previously across the road and now we've purchased this property and we've been here for now for 12 years, I believe. Okay. And yeah, it's been, been going pretty strong and had a Certainly a lot of local business over that time and have continued to keep doing so, hopefully. Yeah, nice. Um, and what kind of services do you offer? Uh, we offer, obviously, window tinting. That was our, our primary source. Uh, but now we also extended that to paint protection as well. Um, so the paint protection side of it is taken care of by my brother Ben. Um, and he, he provides a, a, an excellent ceramic coating services. So obviously today we are going to be um, tinting the windows of uh, my BYD seal behind me here. Um, how many EVs have you done so far? Oh, look, plenty, certainly since we've met you, Tom. Yeah, been good. Plenty of Teslas and plenty of BYTs. Um, as obviously as the market changes, then um, yeah, we're getting more and more and more. Excellent. All right, well, let's uh, go through the uh, BYD seal right now. Okay, so let's do a little walk around the BYD seal with Nick. Um, so, Nick, uh, I've had this car for about four months now, and what you see is what was delivered to me, basically. Um, so, from what I can tell, the side windows are already kind of tinted, aren't they? Yes, they are. We weren't sure, but now on one inspection, we uh, see they are tinted. So we will be redoing them. There was a couple of little bits that uh, certainly could be a little bit better. So happy to redo those front two, which will also help the colour match tie into the back, because because the back already has privacy glass. So um, in order to keep that legal, you would need to go with a clear film over the back. Um, that would provide heat and UV because with the standard privacy glass, it doesn't provide any heat or UV properties. So that just would bring it bring it up to the best sort of spec you could. Um, these new films, the new film we're providing today is a, called a, a Wincos Premium IR. Yeah. And uh, that reduces up to a 92% infrared rejection. So it just brings it up in line with you know, the best films on the market. Um, previously, we did use the Black Pearl for you yeah. on your last vehicle. Um, that's now just been superseded by by this film. So okay. we just thought that would be a nice option for you today. We won't do the roof because the roof um, looks like it does have an IR layer in it. And um, it's un unnecessary to do that at this stage. So yep. we'll be leaving that. Okay. And, you know, it's been quite commonly reported that the roof has got a, a silver treatment as well, I think. Um, yes, that's probably correct. see it too. Bit murkier than other roofs that I've seen, so that's probably the silver treatment on top there. Yep, definitely. There's an infrared layer within that as well. Yep. Now you were telling me that um, the back windows are, are they've got privacy glass already. That's correct. But there's no UV protection there, is there? No, that's that's right. So no heat or UV protection. Mm -hmm. uh, they do look darker, and sometimes uh, customers, when they purchase their vehicle, they believe that they have got protection, especially if they've got children or mm -hmm. animals in the back or carrying any precious cargo. Then and certainly it's, it's ideal to be aware that um, there is no heat or UV properties mm. with those with the privacy glass. Yeah, because when I ordered the BYD seal, I didn't ask for any additional options. Uh, there was no tinting that I ticked or anything like that. So, you know, this is basically the standard car that I got. So I was surprised to see any tinting or privacy at all, for that matter. Um, and so you're saying the front, front currently is tinted too, the front windows? Yes, the front's 35%. Yep. And uh, legally, you're allowed to go 35% on the front yep. and 20% on the rear doors and rear screen. Yep. Um, and that's the, the privacy glass generally comes down pretty close to 20%, but that does vary from model of vehicle. Some vehicles do look a lot darker than others, mm. but generally the privacy glass comes down to about 20%, yep. um, and legally 35 on the front. Okay. Quite often you don't see the, um, the fronts tinted at all, just purely because in the law is overseas. In some countries, you're not allowed to do the front two at all, mm. but from the back doors, you can go as dark as you like. Mm. So Australia have changed those laws. Yeah, and you can see just how much darker the rear windows are compared to the front two. So that's that privacy screen we're talking about without any IR or uh, heat protection. Awesome, and of course, uh, we can't do the front windshield, can we? No, the front windshield is not allowed to be done. Um, I think that's for several reasons, obviously, if, uh, if there's a substandard install or if the film fails, uh, then that's certainly going to be very inhibitive to your view if you're driving down the road and you can't see. Yep. 
Okay, so I'll leave uh, Nick and his team to do the uh, hard work for us. Um, probably two to three hours, Nick? Yeah, say? two to three hours. Some vehicles a little bit longer, just depending on our workflow and, and how many people we can get onto it. Yep, excellent. All right, we'll uh, see you guys in about two to three hours. Thank you very much, Tom. And check this out. Nick has kindly given me a loan vehicle for the day while my car is being looked after. How good is that? Okay, it's been two to three hours. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh, I can see it there. All right, so we're back with Nick. And uh, hey, Nick, it looks fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you. It turns out great. Um, so, uh, any issues at all with the, um, with the process? No, not at all. We just, um, some vehicles you have to take the trims off. With this one, um, the tops pop back and the sweeps come out. So, yep. it just gives us access to get the film down far enough. So, it's all pretty straightforward. And then, yeah, just prepare it on the outside and then clean it and put it on the inside. It's a little bit, little bit fiddly to work with this film, but yep. all in all, it's uh, not too bad. Cool. And now the um, front and the back uh, both have UV and IR protection, heat projection, and within legal limits, of course, as well. That's correct. Yeah, we yep. put 45 on the front, yep. uh, which is slightly lighter than legal, uh, and then 70 on the back over the privacy glass. Okay. And that uh, keeps it within the legal limits to being 20% on the rear and 35 on the front. Awesome. And uh, what precautions should I take for the next couple of days? Uh, just to leave the windows up for a couple of days. Uh, the windows, uh, sorry, the film has still has some uh, water underneath mm -hmm. and that just allows the film to dry. Also, you may notice some water uh, bubbling over the next couple of days mm -hmm. just in between the film. It might look like little water bubbles, but uh, that'll all dry in the coming days to weeks. Great, Nick. That looks really good. Thanks so much. No worries at all, mate. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks, Nick. Um, how can uh, our viewers contact you if they want to get their car done? Uh, they can contact us through the website at, at solitudebookfail.com.au or through our landline at 9905 6464, and that will divert to our mobiles. Both Ben and I are available to take your calls. Cool, thanks, Nick. And, uh, yeah, make sure you contact Nick or Ben uh, to have your car looking as good as mine here yep. at Solitude Brookvale. Thanks so much, everyone. Until next time, happy charging. Thanks, Tom.